I just want to go to a place where I can just get my education and get real world experience and be able to connect with those around me. And if you really seem like that, that perfect uh, place to be. Back when I was in um, high school, when we were looking for colleges to go to, right? And at the time, I really had no idea which college I was going to go to. I didn't really take it seriously. And I guess my first option was UVU. And <laughs> being a high school student, my the reason, my reasoning behind going to UVU was like, oh, it's a color green, I love green, so let's go to UVU. And that was just me being a high school student, right? And after doing all my research, I, I really found myself drawn to UVU. My first programming class was really interesting because I hadn't done any programming until my last uh, year of high school, and that was actually my last like semester of high school. And then it wasn't until my, uh, my first semester when I took my first programming class where I really dived into it and started and realized that, oh, this is something I really like, that I really enjoy, and I want to do in the future. Towards the end of my uh, college, I guess, degree, that was when the COVID pandemic hit, <laughs> and things got really messy. <laughs> Towards my, my last semester, I got to, uh, everything switched to online, we were trying to figure out everything. Two days were a mess. Got to graduate in my car, <laughs> got my degree in my car, which is pretty cool though. I, I, it was a really unique situation. And then the, the summer semester came about. I got uh, registered as an employee with the IS department, and then I was able to start teaching online classes. And that's and that's how I first started teaching the online summer classes, which was when I, yeah, the semester after I graduated. So when Professor Crandall asked me that, initially I was super nervous. I was like really anxious and saying, oh man, should I say yes or should I say no, you know? And I realized, wait, this opportunity doesn't really come to everyone, you know? This isn't like something that I can just ask for just out of nowhere, right? This is something that he took the time to think about and he considered me for the position and he wrote out the email and contacted me, asked for me specifically. And I realized, oh, if he thinks this much about me, then that probably means that Professor Crennel really wants my help and really wants to see how well I can do in this environment. And when, once I got that in my head, I realized, yeah, Professor Crandall is just looking out for me. He wants to see me succeed. He wants to see how well I'm doing. You'd be surprised at what you can kind of, what, what you can do and what you're capable of. And always think about that whenever you're, you're coming across hard times or whenever you're feeling stressed or unmotivated to do something. So that'd be my, my, main, my main key um, point of advice for students.